Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial on how to use your Bethany Gmail account. Now at the time of this recording I just got done reading a bunch of end of course surveys where some very frequent comments were things like I didn't even know I had a Bethany Gmail account or I really wish I could use my personal email account instead of having to use the Bethany Gmail account. Well in this video I'm going to address both of those concerns by showing you how to log in to your Bethany Gmail account and also I will show you if you choose how to set up forwarding to forward your email from this account to a preferred account that you like using. Now to begin you need to go to gmail.com. When you go to that web address it's going to take you to a default Gmail page that might be different depending on whether or not you use Gmail. If you frequently use Gmail with another account, you're probably going to automatically log in to that account. So you'll have to sign out. Then it will take you to a page that has all of your Gmail accounts listed. Maybe you have one or many of them. You have to click to sign in with a different account, and that will take you to this page. If you don't normally use Gmail on the computer that you're using, it will automatically take you to this page right away. Here it says you're supposed to enter your email address. Now your Bethany email address will very likely be your first initial followed by your last name at blc.edu. However, there's possible complications with that as well. If your name is John Smith, for instance, your username should be jsmith at blc.edu, but we already have several jsmith at blc.edu addresses. So how do we deal with that? Well, we add a digit to the end of your name. So you may be jsmith1, jsmith2. To find out if you have one of those alternate usernames, you should visit your Bethany VIP page. And the link to the Bethany VIP page was sent to you in an email that was sent to the address that you gave us on your BLC application. And on the VIP page, it will just tell you the username. You have to be sure to add at blc.edu to the end of that username to log into your email. Once you've entered your correct username and at blc.edu, you'll click next and it will ask you for your password. The password is the same as you will use to get onto Moodle and it's the same that's on that Bethany VIP page. So I'm going to enter my password for my email account and voila! Here I am in my Bethany email inbox. Now I've clicked on my drafts page so that you can't see all the emails that I've been receiving today. Uh, but it will take you to your email inbox and you can see all of the emails that have already been sent to you as a Bethany student. Now just a quick word about the emails that you're going to get into your Bethany inbox. Because you're a Bethany student, you're going to get emails about events here on Bethany's campus. You'll also get important emails from me and from your professors for your online courses. Make sure you use discretion as to what you keep and what you get rid of, what you read and what you delete right away. An important email from your professor should definitely be read and probably kept somewhere, whereas if you live nowhere near Bethany, you're probably not that interested in events that are going on on Bethany's campus. If you do live near Bethany, by the way, because you are officially a Bethany student, you are welcome to attend events here on campus. You even have a student ID number and can get a student ID if you like. However, you are not required to read every single email that comes into your inbox, but you do have to watch for the important ones. Now let's say you don't really want to use your Bethany Gmail account because it's just inconvenient to log into more than one account but you do want to see the emails that come into your Bethany account, you probably want to set up email forwarding so any email that comes to your Bethany account is automatically forwarded to a personal account. Let me show you how to do that. You're going to need to access the settings menu at the upper right hand corner of the page. And then you're going to just want to click down in the drop down list on the settings link. And that's going to take you to a page that has way more information than you'll probably ever use. On this page, you can do things like set up inbox labels, so you have different categories where you can put email. That's actually pretty useful. Uh, you can set up signature sets so that every time you send an email, it has a certain specific signature at the bottom. The thing that we're going to be looking for is up here at the top in the menus across the top called Forwarding and Pop IMAP. When you click on that tab at the very top, you'll see a button to add a forwarding address. And if you click on that, 
you can set up an email address that you would like all of your emails that go to this account to be forwarded to. I'm going to enter one of my other email addresses that I use. And if I wanted to, I could have all of my BLC emails forwarded to this other email address. It's going to ask me if I want to proceed. And when I click on proceed, I am not quite finished. The next thing I'm going to need to do is go to that other email address and log in. Gmail is going to make sure that you have permission to view the other address that you're forwarding emails to. This is a copy of the permission email that gets sent to the other account that you would like to forward your BLC email to. If you're okay with that, if everything is configured correctly and you want to have all of your BLC emails sent to that account, you simply click on this link to confirm and then the forwarding will be set up. If you have any questions about accessing your VLC email because your username and password just don't seem to be working, or if you have questions about setting up forwarding because you can't get that to configure correctly, please feel free to contact me and ask about those things and I'm more than willing to help you set this up. You absolutely need to be able to check your Bethany Lutheran College email because your professors will regularly send you emails to that address and if forwarding makes this more convenient for you, by all means, set this up so that your BLC email goes to a different regularly used account. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to use your Bethany email account.